Bleach is a very popular disinfectant that kills bacteria and viruses. Sodium hychlorite, the main ingredient in bleach, is one of the most effective disinfectants on earth. However, bleach can be very dangerous. If you are inexperienced cleaning, you might accidentally mix things that can be really toxic. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you things that you should never mix with bleach. And be sure to watch to the end because I'm gonna tell you if it's worth paying more for a name brand or if you're okay buying the knockoff brand. First of all, just as a general principle, don't mix bleach with other cleaning products. Do not ever mix ammonia with bleach. These are a terrible combination. It creates mustard gas, which is the same thing that was used in World War I. There was a false story on Facebook about mixing Dawn and bleach that supposedly almost killed someone because they claimed Dawn has ammonia in it. Dawn dish soap doesn't have ammonia. It's still not safe to mix with bleach. The Dawn label even says, do not mix bleach with vinegar. Vinegar is a very popular cleaning solution, just like bleach is. When you mix vinegar and chlorine, it, it produces a lethal chlorine gas. It can cause serious damage to your skin and eyes when inhaled and to your throat and lungs and cause third degree burns. Another common cleaner that you may have around the house is isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. This is also not safe to mix with bleach. It makes a highly toxic combination called chloroform. And if you inhale it enough, it can kill you. Pine Sol and bleach. Lots of you love Pine Sol. We have videos about it. It has that distinctive smell that is so nostalgic for people. Probably a lot of you like the smell of bleach because it also indicates that clean smell to you too. Mixing bleach with Pine Sol produces chlorine gas that can be harmful or even toxic. If you've accidentally mixed bleach and Pine Sol, open all the windows and doors and ventilate the area as much as possible. Dilute the mixture with water and dispose of it down the drain. And that goes for Fabulosa too. And do not mix OxyClean with bleach either. We love OxyClean for all the ways that it whitens whites, but OxyClean breaks down into hydrogen peroxide and combining hot hydrogen peroxide with chlorine bleach creates a chemical reaction resulting in a poisonous gas. So as a general rule, bleach should not be mixed with other household cleaners like toilet bowl cleaners, rust removers, and acids. Just because someone on the internet or TikTok mixes a lot of chemicals together doesn't necessarily mean it's safe. Read labels too because they will tell you safety information and the precautions that you should take. If you really want to make your own concoctions, we recommend that you check out our video about Force of Nature. Force of Nature appliance sends an electrical current and it breaks apart the elements and those elements reform two new chemicals, hypochlorous acid and sodium hydroxide. And as promised, is it worth it to pay for the name brand like Clorox? Or are you okay with the knockoff brand? All bleaches contain the active ingredient sodium hypochlorite. And Clorox has a slightly higher concentration of it compared to other brands. So you're getting a little bit more for your money. The company's regular bleaches concentration is between five and six and a half percent. Compare that to great value bleach that is at six percent. Overall, I found you pay one to two dollars more for the name brand. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to wear gloves when using household bleach or any other cleaning chemicals. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new and leave a comment if you have any stories about trying or accidentally discovering any of these facts yourself because I think that will serve as a good warning to others. And if you want some bleach alternatives, Diana made a video about that. I'll put a link to it above and we'll see you in that video. And if you haven't subscribed to Clean Freak and Germaphobe and you want more cleaning tips, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell.